All right, guys, it's time to get serious here. I've had one major, major issue with the R. I'm really disappointed in it. I'm gonna get to it, okay? I'm gonna get to it. What's going on, guys? Ryan Nelson here, and today I wanna share with you my thoughts after using the EOS R, this thing, for a month. Now, I have been using this as my main camera. I've been using my Mark IV as a backup camera, secondary camera, so I've been doing all my photos, all my videos, on the R. So I think I've gotten a pretty good grasp on how it works and I'm gonna share my thoughts with you. Let's get to it. Probably the biggest difference from going from a 5D series to an R, the mirrorless, is getting used to using the electronic viewfinder. Now the first day I used this camera, I actually didn't like the electronic viewfinder. I found it to be a little odd it had its little quirks, but once you get used to what to do and what not to do, it's actually a really nice feature. Being able to just keep the camera up here, review your images after you shoot, if you need to get into your menu, you can see anything you're gonna see on the LCD through your electronic viewfinder. So if you've never used one, just take a little time to get used to it. Now the biggest advantage of the electronic viewfinder I've found is when recording video. I don't have my neck strap, I don't have my third stabilization, my tripod, monopod, anything like that. Grab the lens, grab the body, press that viewfinder right up against your eyeball. When you hit record, you're actually seeing through the viewfinder what you're recording. All your data is there, your little red record button is there. By the way, who invented that little, like a little red dot for record? That's amazing. Thank you for doing that. That's in there, your record time is in there, your record settings, all of your information is in that viewfinder and that is just so helpful. Now while we're talking about the electronic viewfinder, there actually is a little sensor here on the back. So when you put the camera up to your eye, it actually shuts the screen off and turns the electronic viewfinder on. Now I found this to be a little bit of an issue while shooting on a gimbal. As I move that gimbal around, it cuts just enough light to kill the LCD screen and obviously I don't have it up against my eye, but there is a workaround around that in the menu. All you have to do is go to your wrench, go to set number four and it's display settings and just set that to manual and then you can set that between the LCD and the viewfinder. It does work really well, it just took me a while to figure out how to do it and where to do it. Battery life on the R has actually been really good. I've been pretty impressed with it, especially since it has to keep that image on a screen or in the viewfinder. And then I've actually spent the weekend walking around hiking with my 70 to 200 IS lens on it with the image stabilizer on. And that battery lasted me almost all day of just shooting photos. I wasn't shooting video, so I wasn't eating up as much battery, but for photos, it lasted pretty much all day. By the way, this thing takes the same batteries as the 5D series, so if you have a bunch of those, you're in luck. So the way I've been using this camera the most is with my EF adapter and my 24-70 to 8 and my trusty variable ND filter. This has kind of been maybe the way I've done 80% of my work with it so far. It's been a very solid setup. I haven't had any issues using my old EF lenses with it. So Canon, great job on making the EF lenses work on your new EOS R. And my new favorite button on this camera, which I never use on my 5D 2s, 3s, 4s, but I'm using it all the time on this camera is the multi-function button. So in photo mode with this button, I have ISO, shooting mode, uh, autofocus, one shot or servo, white balance, and exposure compensation. In movie mode, I have white balance and ISO. That's been good enough for me. I'm totally digging that button. It makes things really quick and easy to change. Now the other big difference between the 5D or any of the other series and the new R is this touch bar in the back, which I haven't found to be very useful at all. I set it up, I think, to change my ISO, but once I learned that I could just use the manual function button to change my white balance, my ISO, my shooting mode, I just use that. I don't even bother with the touch bar. It just seems 
I don't know. I'm not digging it. Flip screen has been fantastic. I've really enjoyed being able to get that camera down low and not have to crawl on the ground through like bird poop and grease and grime just to be able to see what I'm getting. So helpful. I wish they would have put it on the Mark IV. They didn't, but whatever. They have it on the R now, so I'm really stoked about that one. And so far, I've found it to be actually quite durable. I've smacked it a couple of good times and thought, oh crap, I just broke my, oh, no, here it is, still working, still great, just, yeah, so, it seems plenty durable so far. Now, one thing when I first started using this camera I really hated about it was where they put the record button back here. Because when you have it, and you're just, ah, ah, yeah, yeah, ah, there it is. It's really hard to reach when you're holding the camera like this but you can set the shutter button in movie mode to do your recording. No issues there, totally solid. This button, I suppose it's really good when you're working on a tripod. That's about it. Or if you have really, really flexible fingers. Just like any new camera that you get, it's gonna take you a little while to get used to it, a little while to learn where the buttons are and how to change things quickly. This one, I think I've caught on to it pretty well and I'm really digging it more than the 5Ds. Uh, it's very solid, it's got a nice feel on my hand. I have kind of small hands and the 5Ds have always felt, I guess, a little big. But now after holding this and then going back and grabbing a 5D, I'm like, wow, this thing's a tank. I'm gonna take the R out because it's just smaller, lighter, feels better in my hand. Just saying, just saying, just it's, I like it, I'm digging it. That being said, I've never liked the 1D series for the reason that it's just a big camera. I've never enjoyed using a battery grip. I just think it makes too much camera to carry around. And even when I did have it, I would go to shoot vertical and I'd still shoot from this side. So I'd never, I'd never switch my hand. Cause for me, it's just easier to go boom, 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 boom. I actually did have a chance the other day to test out the weather ceiling. I happened to be out shooting a golf event and it started raining. So I'm like, well, perfect time to test out the weather ceiling on the R. So I just left the camera out on the tripod, let it get wet just to see what happened. A few people looked at me a little crazy like, why are you not covering up your camera? It's raining. I'm like, it's weather sealed, it's fine. Overall, it didn't kill the camera, but I did have a little fogging in the viewfinder. I wasn't too happy with that, but it did dry up within 10 minutes of going back inside, so fine, whatever. Didn't affect the function of the camera, still works just fine. If you like dual card slots, don't get the R. Don't get it. One card slot. One, just one. If you think shooting dual cards is an absolute necessity, Stop looking now. The R does not have dual card slots. I don't find that to be an issue. I shoot, it's fine. No problem. That's it. It's got one card slot. No more, no less. That's all I can say about that. So I've had one issue with the R. It's been a little obnoxious, but it's only come up about three times, which is probably three times more than it should come up where I've had the camera lock up while I'm shooting in burst mode. I still haven't figured out why this happens, but I'll be shooting something, I'll be bah, 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 and then suddenly the camera just <laughs> locks up and it doesn't do anything and it won't focus, it won't, I mean, the electronic viewfinder still works, but it won't shoot, it won't focus, it won't do anything. I've shut the camera off, turn it back on, it's been fine. I haven't been able to repeat it while I'm trying to make it happen, but it's happened to me three times while out shooting. Now, if you guys have had this issue too or noticed this while shooting with any other cameras, I'd love to know about it. I've never had this issue before and I wanna work with Canon to get it resolved. Hopefully I can, we'll see what happens. So other than that one little issue, I think they've actually done a really amazing job with this camera. I've had really good luck with everything else. 
I've been really happy with the results. So if you guys wanna check out an R for yourself, I've dropped an Amazon link down below. So go ahead and check that out when you get a minute. And if you have an R and you don't like it and you want a 5D Mark IV, shoot me a message. I might just trade you straight up for it because I like the R and I'd like to have two of them because backup cameras are amazing and I always have one. All right guys, well if I missed anything, ask me down in the comments. I'd love to answer your questions or learn more about this camera. I always learn from the questions, so I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down there, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, and I will see you guys next time.